With a past unrivaled in intellectual richness, with true claim to the very meaning of the finest pulses of the human heart and mind, we stand with respect before Greece, the very foundation of Western civilization. This land and many islands which make up the southern tip of the Balkan Peninsula has some of the most unusual topography of any European nation. Here the abundant stone of the surrounding hills paves the streets and walls the houses for people who live in picturesque mountain villages, where the colorful costumes of this ancient and historical land are still a part of the everyday scene. The village women, distaff in hand, still spin the cotton and wool into thread, which they will weave into homespun cloth. It's all a part of the fascinating picture that is Greece. Greece and her numberless islands, particularly Corfu, Crete, and Mytilene, is famous for olives. Here are grown some of the world's finest olives, from which is pressed and processed the pure oil, which has so long been a staple of the Greek diet. And not only is the golden oil refined for home consumption, thousands of gallons each year are packaged for shipment, olive oil and byproducts being one of the country's important exports to the markets of the world. Here also are grown great quantities of fine tobacco. After gathering, the carefully selected leaves are sorted and strung by expert hands for hanging and drying. At the conclusion of the drying process, the golden leaf will be sent to warehouses, there to be sorted, graded, and fermented before delivery to its ultimate destination, one of Greece's many cigarette factories. The manufacture of cigarettes is one of Greece's most important industries, employing hundreds of workers, mostly women, who turn out millions of packages under modern production methods. Southern Greece, known as the Peloponnesus, is separated from the mainland by the Corinth Canal. As vital to Greece as the Panama Canal is to America, this waterway allows ships to travel from one coast to the other without circling the entire Greek peninsula. Sunny skies and a cordial welcome are in store for the fortunate visitor. For not only is Greece the world's chief archaeological treasure house, she is one of the most enchanting countries in a steadily shrinking world. First stop for increasing thousands of visitors to this modern land of ancient contrasts is Athens. One of the Earth's great citadels of antiquity, Athens also has its modern side. The architecture of its buildings combine the beauties of the classical period with the utility of today. Its broad avenues teem with the traffic typical of the metropolitan picture the world over. Its pedestrian flow is composed of people who are traditionally nationalistic and deeply religious, the great majority belonging to the Eastern or Orthodox Church. The University of Athens, great cultural center of a land long renowned as a creator of world culture. the imposing parliament building in front of which is the memorial to Greece's unknown soldier. On constant guard are the colorfully costumed Evzones, wearing the white pleated kilts, which have been adopted as a national costume. Though many times invaded, Greece has stood firm and unconquerable. In that spirit, is embodied the memory of the unknown warrior, here symbolically entombed. The King's Palace, residence of the chief executive of this crowned republic. The elective power, however, rests in the people themselves by process of the secret ballot. And 
And these Ebzones form the King's Royal Honor Guard. These centuries of freedom might be ancient in their costuming, but they are modern to the hilt, and they pace and perform as though in cadence with the times. Greece has a proud history of freedom and deep respect for the decencies of man. These are the faces of men who many times have been overpowered, but never has their spirit been conquered. With such as these, Greece must emerge strong and secure in a world turbulent in its portents. Greece is indeed the land of sunny seas and blue skies. Her temperate climate, the beck and call to those who would revel in the sun. Yes, in this land, the trend is always to the out of doors, and the youth of the nation take advantage of nature's bountiful gifts to disport themselves against a background of antiquity, which is their proud and honored birthright. Kids will be kids, whether the place is Coney Island, Lake Michigan, Catalina, or the sunny slopes of Greece. Just beyond and above modern Athens is the Acropolis, crowned by the Parthenon, one of the most famous of all Hellenic monuments, and certainly one of the most beautiful ever created by the mind and hand of man. The Acropolis has been in turn a shrine and a fortress. It has withstood many sieges, the last being in 1826, during the Greek War of Independence against the Turks. But even in ruins, it evidences the truly splendid civilization of classical Greece. And among the ancients, we moderns taking those snapshots to show the folks back home. Nearby is the Olympian Temple of Zeus, completed by the Roman Emperor Adrian in the second century AD. Although Greece lost her political independence to the Romans, she continued to be the intellectual and artistic center of the Roman and Hellenic world. It was during this period that Roman emperors and senators endowed Athens with many of her splendid buildings. On an elevation a mile northwest of the Acropolis, a group of unknown artists built a smaller Parthenon known as the Theseian. According to some archaeologists, the Theseian might have been the temple of Vulcan, the god of fire. The Greeks are renowned for their art, drama, philosophy, mathematics, and their mythology. But Greece has given far more to the world than her culture. She has given to it the precious principles of democracy. Today, Greece rises once again in all her proud and perennial glory to take her honored place among those liberty-loving nations which are mankind's bright and only shining hope in this world of ours.